Good morning, everyone. How are you? You guys see in the title it says, Don't Panic, Pivot. I When I got ready to come on this morning, I actually saw one of the, um, you know how we get the reminders on uh, Facebook of our previous posts? And I saw a post that I had written, I didn't even check the year of it or whatever, but it said, you can create the life you love if you push past the resistance to change. Oh, I wanted to, let me turn other Wi-Fi off. I want to talk to you guys about pivoting and what it looks like and what it consists of, especially during this season, so many... Uh, businesses are having to close down, not offer services, and I recently saw where um, some of the, hey good morning, where some of the counties were requiring like um, self-quarantine or self-isolation. If you watch me, I think uh, last week I talked about the benefits of isolation Self-sheltering is what I think I saw it titled as, where some of the counties were having to um, stay at home and only do essential things like the grocery store, gas station, pharmacies, things like that. You know, people could be outside running, doing all of the other things around their home, but, um, you know, pretty much asking people to kind of just stay in place. And I completely understand how um, this could look like a space where you need to panic. And I'm here to share with you this morning, not to panic, but to pivot. And I'm gonna talk to you about what pivoting looks like if you're um, an entrepreneur. Um, even if you're not an entrepreneur, you will definitely gain value from this broadcast. Before we get started, Say hello in the comments. You know, let me know how you guys are um, doing on the other end. Let me know who's in. Be sure to share this broadcast out with someone else. I mean, this is something that is impacting or affecting everyone everywhere. So um, my goal is to bring a measure of value that regardless of who comes on to watch this particular broadcast, be able to get something that they could use while you know we're transforming and uh, going through this transformational time that we're having and you know transformation isn't always like the most comfortable thing I don't know why I just thought about the butterfly but how the butterfly is normally in this cocoon type state and it's not the most attractive thing when it's wrapped up in all of the stuff but what it morphs into after that um, time of isolation or incubation, it's actually beautiful. And I want to invite you on this morning to really step into um, a, a measure of faith, maybe a measure that you've never had to embrace before. So um, I owned a brick and mortar service based business. And for 10 years prior to what I do now. I am a consultant and coach for women in business, helping them brand build and profit in their business. But prior to that, I owned a brick and mortar service-based business. So I would be one of the businesses that would be asked to, you know, just shut the doors at this time. And this time is similar in my mind to a time during 2018. Now, some of the dynamics of this are slightly different, but there was definitely the thought of, you know, finances is how we eat, it's how we take care of our family, it's how we do all the things. Um, and I remember, you know, really getting sucked into uh, the media. Um, now, I do believe that you guys should stay informed. There are some things that the media is sharing with us. Hey, good morning that is important for us to be able to um, sustain. Carisha, good morning, how are you, dear? Can you hear me? Are you able to hear me, hear me well, Carisha? Let me know in the comments if I'm coming through um, clear on, on your end. That would be great. 
But I remember that time and one of the huge things that blessed me so much, um, I'd had a conversation with um, an expert marketer some years prior to the recession that happened in 2008. And I was able to take something he said and, and it really just shifted how I maneuvered through that time. And as we are embracing things that are transpiring now, I started thinking about, you know, 2008 and what were my thoughts and what was I doing? And then I started thinking about my finances, you know, during that time. And we actually earned more revenue during what was considered a, a recession than I had the years prior. And so I did some things, but the first thing I did, guys, was I changed my mind. I started thinking from an abundant space. Um, it was a time where my faith uh, became stronger than ever. And during times like this, I'm so grateful that I'd had an opportunity to really, really work on my faith and really increase my faith um, because those are, you know, the, the faith, the process, which is what a, a lot of people run from the process. But guys, the thing about the process is it is something that what you learn during the process is something that you can use over and over and over again. So oftentimes we, uh, we can say, oh, I'll make it through this. I've been through worse, which is great, right? That we can say that we've made it through different things. But what I want you guys to be really careful about because I learned, and this was from me, like studying my family tree and the women in my family, you know, just a, a line of really strong women. And, you know, long suffering is one of the fruits of the spirit. But I learned that sometimes what we're suffering on can create this thing that causes us to only get by and not to thrive. I'm going to say that one more time. Sometimes we've acquired um, what we do in the process that does make us strong, uh, that does show that we are long-suffering, which is a fruit of the Spirit, but it allows us to only get by and not to thrive. And I would love to see many of you who come on this morning thrive through this perfect, imperfect situation that we're in if you want to thrive through it um put me in the comments now it's going you guys are going to have to bring me your mind for this one you're going to have to bring me your mind for this i'm trying to see um i may need to one second let's see what's going on here it's a decision you know that you're going to have to make so i said don't panic pivot I'm going to give you guys some things so whenever you start getting these thoughts that to um, you really pushing through this time, good morning, I want you to think about pivoting. And I said, I chose pivot. I love words because we can, we can come again. Um, Cassandra, good morning. How are you? If somebody could let me know if they hear me in the comments, that would be amazing. Just put, I can hear you because I see it like... Um, going in and out so I, I love words and I chose pivot for you all because it is what you need to do in the season remember I shared with you when I first came on I saw a message hey auntie that um, from when I done a memory it was a memory like on Facebook from years ago and it said you can create the life you love if you push past the resistance to change how many of you know that if you really assess what's transpiring now, there are several opportunities for change? Good morning. You can hear me. Thank you, dear. There are several opportunities for change during this season, but you have to be willing with the word pivot. Is I've taken smaller words, things that you can remember during time so that you're not inundated and overwhelmed with panic or fear or you know constantly thinking about what if it goes so far left but guys what if it actually ends up being 
one of the biggest blessings. What if this season ends up being one of the biggest blessings that you've ever had? I choose, this is me, I choose to find the blessing. So when I look at situations like this, I always say, okay, we understand what's transpiring. You know, coronavirus is real. Isolation is real. Businesses are being closed down. All of that is real, right? But instead of thinking about how negatively it impacts you, what if you said, I'm going to prepare myself as if this thing, when it has done what it's going to do, is going to open up major doors and major opportunities. What if you just said, that's how I'm going to view this season. So what I want you to do is pivot. Uh, for the first letter P, the first thing you need to do is pray. Somebody scribe for me. Put pray in the comments. Now, I want you guys to be careful even with prayer. I did this broadcast called The 7 P's to Prosperity some years ago. And one of the first things I shared with those P's was prayer. Now, what this has been my experience with prayer. Now, it's probably been your experience with prayer too, if you really think about it. When I pray, prayer has become a time where God gives me a set of instructions. I don't know about you guys, but most oftentimes when I go to God in prayer for an answer, a solution, you know, a decision, he usually gives me a set of instructions. And so when you are pivoting in this season for the first pivot, the first letter in pivot is P. I'm going to give you about three things you can think about when you think about the letter P for pivot. And number one is prayer. Thank you for scribing that, dear. Number one is prayer. Remember, when you go in prayer, look for a set of instructions. God will give you a set of instructions. Guys, I am watching some of the things that I've been doing when it felt like there was no action or traction to it, I was doing because I heard a set of instructions. It would tell me who to follow. It would tell me who to coach with. It would just give me all of these instructions that did, they looked illogical in that moment, right? So I, all, I couldn't always see where like these instant results from it. But because I got the set of instructions that seemed illogical in that moment, it better prepared me for times like this. And most of the time when we go in prayer, we're looking for this instant thing for God to do. You know, you make supplications and you make requests. But guys, pr your prayer time is also a set of instructions. And I've learned that most often when God tells you something to do, it's something that doesn't look normal in the natural. I, I did a post about Noah and the set of instructions from God, and he was doing things that nobody else was willing to do in that season because he believed what God said. Now, it wasn't raining anywhere. You know, it hadn't rained. I don't even know if they knew what rain was. I can't remember thoroughly the story, but I know it wasn't raining. But Noah was building and during this time, when you go to God in prayer, listen for a set of instructions. And most oftentimes, it's going to be something that in the natural, you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Or what if you're going to begin questioning some of the instructions that he gives you. But I promise you, if you're obedient to what you're hearing in your time in prayer, even if it looks illogical. One of the things I did during the 2008 session I cut back what I was listening to, guys. I cut back what I was listening to. Um, Mamito, good morning. How are you? Because everything that I was listening to was the normal state of things that people would do in a state of panic. Lord, have mercy. But God had me preparing. I was investing and strategizing. I was investing and strategizing. I keep, I'm going to keep saying that to you guys, right? Remember I said the quote that I saw that I posted some years ago. It said, you can create the life you love. It was a reminder on Facebook. If you push past the resistance to change, I believe in this season, God is calling many of you to do some things differently. Y'all tap the screen. Y'all tap the screen. We can be in denial about it, but God is calling us to do some things differently. 
and I believe this is the perfect time. The second thing for P is to prep. The second thing for P in pivot is to prep. Somebody put prep in the comments. Let's think about meal prepping. So first of all, a person who meal preps has already decided a destination that they intend to be because of what they're going to be eating differently um, and what they're going to be putting in their body, right? When we're meal prepping, it's not necessarily because we're getting results on that particular day. No, we're, we're getting some, but it may not be some that we can see on the outside when we're meal prepping. See, the second letter, the second word for the letter P is to prep. Now, meal prepping is about a destination that you plan on being in 30, 60, 90 days. Sometimes, not necessarily today. So the second thing in the, the word pivot for P, listen, is to prep. And people don't like to prep. We just want to jump to, I lost 30 pounds. <laughs> we just want to jump to, um, I saved $10,000. We want to jump to, I may, I got $1,000 days in my business because we don't want to do the prep. But when you guys think about pivoting during this season, during this imperfect, perfect time, if you are a believer, you can see past this right now moment and it will give you wisdom on how you should be maneuvering during this time. But you got to prep. Listen, we on the letter P. First, we going to pray. And when we pray, we know that we're going to God for a set of instructions. God may give you a set of instructions, somebody to connect with, something to do. And you're looking like, but this is all I have. And, you know, if I do this, what am I going to be left with? This is when your faith has, it's got to rise to the top. It has to rise to the top. You got to know that during this time, of prayer, you're going to get a set of instructions. You need to be prepping. And the third thing you need to be doing is planning. Some of you are planning to Netflix and chill. Lord have mercy. And I'm not saying that you're not going to make it through this. But how many of you know that every time we go through something, we're supposed to learn a lesson from it, right? So that when we face a situation similar to it later, we're better off than we were before. And see, I think the, the, the whole, um, I know what struggle looks like. Oh, I, I can make it through this, right? But if you're going to do the same thing throughout that situation that you did through the last time, then it's going to be a repeated cycle every time. But what if you prepped for something greater? Remember we talked about meal planning and we know that when we start meal planning and eating differently and things like that, we have a destination that we want to be into. We want to be to in 30, 60, 90 days. For those of you who are entrepreneurs, you should be prepping. This is not going to last forever, right? You should be prepping for what you see 30, 60, 90, what you would like to see 30, 60, 90 days from now. Now, listen, there are some things that are beyond our control but God has also given us the authority over a whole lot of things and what you you need to be in alignment right so your words your thoughts and your actions need to be in alignment in this season to the letter I in pivot I is <coughs> excuse me I is innovate so when we think about um, pivoting, you guys got to get innovative during this season. So many of you have done the same thing, the same role in your business. You think, well, this is all that I can do. But you guys have to get innovative. Innovative is when you have new methods. New methods. Excuse me, just one second, guys. You guys got to get innovative in this season. Listen, our brain is one of the most powerful tools that God has given us, our brain. 
you have to get innovative during this particular season. And then the next thing you have to do for the letter I, you have to implement, right? Don't just get all of, this is a season, if you've ever had a season where you just go ahead and put action to things, this is the time to do that. You gotta take action. So I'm hosting a five day prep my brand challenge and we're, pro we're on, today will be our fourth day. And in two days, in two days, guys, uh, a, a member who's taken the challenge has created foundations for her brand. She has created platforms for the brand, a logo and a direction. All of that is called prepping, right? Because she can be putting, you know, action. She can be implementing those things during this downtime. Listen, um, a challenge member in in 30 minutes I gave I gave her a strategy in 30 minutes she doubled her investment now not only did she double her investment guys my gosh good morning Sharana she doubled her like actually got her money back in two days but she didn't touch a client to do it she also has the strategy that's gonna carry her throughout this time that we're out where she's going to be putting her products and her services out there and getting money for it online without touching a client. Listen, she implemented the strategy and within 30 minutes she had made back her investment. So you guys, you got to implement during the season. You got to become innovative. We're talking about pivoting. The next thing is valuable, viable, right? The letter V in pivot viable that means listen viable is capable of working successfully during this time you need to be working on things that are capable of working successfully if you know that because your business is closed down you can no longer do that thing that you did before there is more on the inside of you that you are capable of doing in this season and there are people just like you watching me online who are who would find that thing valuable and are able to make the exchange. You got it. Remember, I said you got to get innovative during this season, guys, but you need something viable. So many people have been working on things that aren't viable in this season. Let me finish giving you the definition of viable. Now, this was amazing when I saw this part. I loved it. <clears throat> it said seed. This is under the definition of viable. It said seed, something that's able to germinate. When we think about germinate, we're thinking about grow, right? What seeds can you plant in this season? Some of your seeds may be bringing value online to whoever the client is who would find what you're doing valuable. I've seen some amazing things transpiring in this season. Um, there's a young lady who owns a cleaning business Right? She works with sanitation and products and things of that nature. She created hand sanitizer. Somebody tap the screen for her. Y'all tap, somebody tap the screen for that young lady's innovation during this time. See, and then she's also a kingdom entrepreneur. I just believe that God gives us heads up. I believe that God connects us with people who give us heads up. This, that's just my belief one of the advantages of being a believer and a kingdom believer. And this particular, um, her business is actually called Heaven Sent. I want to just shout her out, right? When I saw that, my soul, you know, I was just so blessed because I say, yes, this is the time to get creative. There is something valuable that your clients need that you can provide for them, right? If you shift outside of panic, See, many people will make desperate moves during this time. Good morning, Layla. How are you? They will make desperate moves during this time that look, we're talking about viable, right? They look like they're working and they're going to work in the moment. But in the long run, it'll be damaging to their brand. You know, let me just say this right here because it's been on my heart. For as much as we're getting creative with technology, I think you should. If you haven't, if you've been saying I'm not tech savvy, this is the season to get tech savvy, children. Good morning, Chris. How are you, dear? This is the season to get tech savvy. 
Like you don't have to be an expert, but if you made a Facebook page, like the page that you're on now, if you signed in, created that page, all that, it's some simple things that you can do on other platforms, right? So you got to put your mind to it. So we're talking about viable, and I just wanted to share this. Doctors are even getting creative and they're having consultations, you know, um, virtually online with patients. But I guarantee you guys, there are not going to be any surgeons giving the clients, telling the clients to go buy tools and create and do their own surgery. And I'm saying this because I feel sometimes in desperation, we go too far. We go too far. And then, and we think about only the moment and not what the long-term effects are going to be because you still have a brand. If you think you're coming out of this, which you should think that you're coming out of this, remember that you still have a brand. You still have a business after this season is over. So even in your innovation and what you're implementing, it needs to be viable. Let me read you guys the definition of viable. Capable of working successfully, right? So even though we are pivoting, we're not necessarily wanting to do things that are, aren't going to sustain long term or that don't really even make moral or professional sense. Somebody tap is great, right? Now, it also says capable of surviving, this is viable, or living successfully, especially under particular environmental conditions. So something viable is going to work for you. I want you guys to get innovative during this season. And then the letter O in pivot, I want you to have an open mind. Oftentimes when we've been doing the same thing, you know, in our careers, in our jobs, and in our businesses for a long time, it can create a barrier or a wall to possibility. Because in your mind, you're saying, well, this is what I do, and this is how I've always done it. And because I can't do that thing right now, and I can't do it the way I've always done it, then there is no hope. See, this is what this is what your mind will tell you in a state of panic, right? But I want you guys to pivot and not panic. I want you to have an open mind. The next letter for pivot, the next word for O in pivot is optimistic. You got to be optimistic. This is when your faith is saying, okay. This may take 60, 90, 120 days. This may take six months. But in this six months, if you are not optimistic, you will not move towards prosperity. If you're not optimistic, you will not move towards prosperity in the season if you don't pivot. And many of you are resisting change. It's okay. I promise you guys, it is okay to change. There are some things, remember we talked about, I love the letter P, what we did was we talked about prayer, prepping, and planning. I think those are vital. Prayer, prepping, and planning. And remember when you're praying, you're looking for a set of instructions. And God normally tells you to do something that in your natural mind, you're saying, well, you know, this doesn't make sense. Well, this is kind of like all I'm working with. And see, but what's in your hand is actually a seed. One of the things I learned in my walk, one of the early things I learned was that if you don't have enough, what you have is seed. Lord have mercy. I'm going to say that again. If you don't have enough for what you need, then what you have is seed. I'm going to say it one more time. If you don't have enough for what you need, then what you have is seed. So maybe your time is a seed in this season. Maybe your resources you know, may feel limited, but they are a seed for something greater. Maybe your money is a seed for something greater. Listen, you guys got to bring me your mind in this season, and this is when your faith begins to work in operation. Now, I don't even know if I'm a, listen, it says social distancing, um, isolation. Guys, just follow that. Just, I mean, just follow that. Because 
if you guys haven't learned anything else and what has been I have been even more aware of is every single thing you do and I do hey Angie darling impacts someone else if you don't get any other lesson during the season everything you do and I do impacts someone else let's just think about how this all started all the way in China right and when you begin to understand that what you do what you say what you don't do it all impacts someone else you move differently you move differently I'm just telling you your faith is going to have to rise up in this season and you are going to have to pivot somebody put pivot in the comments you are going to have to pivot don't panic pivot Somebody put pivot in the comments. The letter T in pivot. Here's some words that you can think about as you're pivoting in this season. Number one, trust. You're going to have to trust in this season. You're going to have to trust that the innovation, the ideas, the connections, the things that you're hearing from viable sources is going to bring produce a profit for you. You're going to have to trust that you're going to be provided for. Now, when I say you're going to be provided for, I don't think this is a, a season to wait. I don't think this is a season to wait, guys. Like to wait to be provided for. I think there are some things that we um, are definitely going to get. I believe that there are going to be some things that the government is going to do to help you know, um, compensate what is transpiring, but I'm not waiting on anyone else to determine my complete future. I'm not a victim. Y'all don't hear me. I'm probably talking foreign. Somebody put this in the comments. I am not a victim. God has given us authority. He's given us a mind that can create. It can create. <clears throat> Number two, the second thing for T you're going to have to do in this season, hey James, um, you're going to have to be truthful. Lord, this is a truth season here. All of this is part of pivoting. And the first person you're going to have to be honest with is yourself. You're going to have to be honest with yourself about a whole lot of stuff in this season. And so maybe in your moments of honesty, you don't really like what you're saying, right? You, you might say, you know what? I dropped the ball. I should have did this two years ago. I should have did this three. Okay, so now we're aware, but we don't dwell there. We don't dwell there. We just become aware. We, we get truthful. We get real honest with ourselves, right? And we say, I, I should have, but now I am. Remember I said for I was to implement. It's going to be people who come on who I've worked with three years ago who we I gave a strategy that didn't do it. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. That Those are the truthful moments that you have to have with yourself. And you have to say, okay, what is it that makes me have um, the strategy but not implement? Now, see, I don't think we should always have to wait for a pandemic to happen in order for us to move. Yeah, I don't hear me. I just I don't I don't believe that. Now, I remember there was a time where I would have to get all these aha moments in order to move. But this is the perfect time, guys, for you all to create a new habit. A habit of preparing, being proactive so that we don't have to be reactive. Y'all tap the screen. Y'all know this is in love. If you have followed me for any amount of time, this is in love. I was thinking about, um, so I have a mastermind, and I remember there was a season in the mastermind where, you know, I was really um, persistent with the people in the mastermind. Like, get it done. Let's go. Now, at that time, they couldn't see why I was saying, you know, let's get this done. Let's move on this because, you know, things were comfortable you know, this was a high-end mastermind, so they weren't hurting necessarily for revenue, you know. They were 
paying me well for the the information but what i knew because of my previous experience was preparation is never lost time it's never lost time and i knew that them implementing some of those things in season would be beneficial to them at some other time and so you know i think it was a little uncomfortable but I promise you it was out of love, right? It was out of love because I believe that God connects us with people who have insight that we don't have. I mean, I know that's been my situation. My mentors, the people that I've coached with, some of the things that they told me, I didn't get the lesson to two years later. And I was like, man, they told me that two years ago. And then I started saying, okay, look, just get into action. Stop thinking about all the sexy stuff, <laughs> you know, the sexy part of the process and implement. And see, implementing and prepping is hard sometimes because you don't always see immediate results. Now, I will say, um, I told you guys I've been doing the five-day prep my brand challenge. I have a client. I gave her a strategy in 30 minutes. She made not only her money back for the investment for the whole five-day challenge, she doubled it and then she has five more orders and now she has a foundation and she didn't touch a client. Let me just say that. She didn't touch a client. Um, now she has a foundation that she can use throughout this time that will definitely bring in some added revenue for her. Right? So I'm not saying that some things don't shift and happen immediately, but some of the things, you know, it, it takes a little time. And right now, you guys have time. You have time. So I said um, the first word for the letter T in pivot was trust. You got to trust. Number two, you got to be truthful. And number three, you got to be tenacious. Somebody put tenacious in the comments. You got to be tenacious. Now, tenacious is adhering too closely. One of the reasons I don't want you guys to panic is because I know that what you put in is what you get out, right? It dictates your results. So if you put in a whole lot of, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there, then your reward is going to be small. You need a centralized focus. You could just be tenacious on. You can just keep doing that thing to see results. Did you guys know that water can change the shape of a rock? So if water runs over a rock, enough times it'll change the shape of it right but panic will tell you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then you don't you never really see the the results from it if i had to share with you a recession proof strategy some strategies that help you um sustain in this season and maintain it is not to do 50 different things it's not. It's to find you a focus on a viable, remember we talked about viable for the letter V in pivot, on a viable thing and keep and keep working at that thing. Right? So the next letter, because I had quite a few for the letter T in pivot, is um, transformation. Many of you are going to experience a transformation during this season. And believe it or not, it is one that you prayed for. Many of you are going to experience a transformation in this season. And believe it or not, it is one that you prayed for. You just had no idea that the process of it would, would look like this. But to transform is to be completely changed. Like the way people recognize you and see you is going to be the way you see yourself is going to be different when this season is over. So that this word for T in pivot is transformation. There's so much transformation that's about to transpire and I'm excited about the transformation. And you guys get excited too because it's just a whole lot of stuff that you pray for that you might not have moved on. Yeah, I don't hear me. It's gonna be transformed in this season. <laughs> it's going to be transformed in the season. Okay, the next one, and this one is really, really good. 
Uh, the next word for the letter T in pivot is timing. Guys, I think it's human nature for us to say, I'll do it later. I think it's human nature for us to say, I'll wait. But timing is of essence in the season. Somebody put timing in the comments. Hey, Tamika, how are you, dear? Somebody put timing in the comments. We're going through words that can help you bring the word pivot into your remembrance during the season. And timing is one of them. One of the things that I've noticed in my walk, in my time with God, is he would tell me something to do. And I couldn't always see why he was telling me to do that thing in that season. But when I was obedient, not delayed obedient, <laughs> but when I was obedient, like when I immediately did what he said, I would always be able to come back later and say, God, I'm so glad I listened to you. I'm so glad I did that thing when you told me to do it. Because in this season, timing is of essence, guys. Like, it's of essence. Yes, timing. Now, timing is in essence of when you implement, when you take action, when you move on something. Many of you, I have been in your life for years in some measure. You've been connected to me in some measure, whether it's social media, whether you knew me in the community. And there are some things I've shared with you publicly on, you know, videos like this or privately. And now is the time. I'm just going to say that now is the time. You have not been connected to me this long for, for nothing, right? Okay, so the, the next thing with timing is you're going to have to monitor when you talk to certain people. Lord, somebody put that in the comments. This is under timing, right? The letter T in the word pivot. And timing is one of them. You're going to have to be mindful of when you talk to certain people. So many of you are going to be um, innovating new things and you're going to be embracing change during this. There are people that you are currently connected to who are going to, um, they're going to be still stuck in yesterday. And so their conversation with you is going to only be about things that will cause you to panic. Lord have mercy. Now, some of these people may be connected to you. It could be family members. But guys, you got to pick the time that you speak to certain people. Because the more you hear... Now, listen. I'm going to say this right here. If you lead a team, if you're a coach, teacher, trainer, you, you have a business and you lead a team, as a leader, you have to be in a good headspace now. Because I've seen some leaders talking that have actually been talking from a space of fear. Now, it may not sound like it, but I, I smell fear. They were talking from a space of fear and not a space of faith. And as a leader, you have a responsibility. You're leading your family, whatever, to police your thoughts during this time and let your faith walk in operation, right? Because remember, people are being impacted. They're hearing it. Like, I can't hear... Every 30 seconds, something is changing in the news. I can't, you can't call me every 30 seconds and tell me the newest update. Listen, I'm staying informed, guys. Trust me, I'm staying informed. We, we've been doing the um, self-sheltering for a couple of weeks now. The only place we've been going is the grocery store or somewhere essential. So I've been doing that. Um, I wanted to be responsible because I understand that what I do impacts somebody at some level. Everything that we do impacts someone else. So I'm not saying not to be informed, but when you're getting ready to pivot, who you're listening to is going to make a huge, huge difference. And sometimes you got to pick the timing that you listen to them. So if you know that you're working on something um, if you're preparing or prepping something for this new direction that you're heading in and, you know, the person that calls, they might have great information, but you already know, you know, they're going to 
updates for the last 30 minutes, all 30 of them that happened, you may say, okay, this is not the time that I can actually speak to this individual. Let me do this thing right here that I was doing, and then I'll call them back. And then I'll call them back. Do you guys get that? So your timing is going to be important. Even the timing of when you log on social media, like it's inevitable, guys. People are talking about it. I am not talking about the virus so much, but I'm just giving you strategy of how to work through it. So people are talking about it. You know, it's crazy to think that you aren't going to see some of it down your timeline, their ads, things of that nature. You have to be mindful of when you log on to social media. If you know that you're working on something that's going to produce uh, profits, um, sustainability, and help you to thrive for later, then you know, okay, I, I'm not going on social media right now because it's going to shift my thinking. So remember, we're talking about pivoting. I want you guys to embrace this. It is time to pivot. So I prophetically want to tell you that this is the season to pivot. If it's something that you've been thinking about doing, if it's something that's been laid on your heart, um, and, you know, this is the season. This is the season. Many of you have not embraced technology or social media, but there's something in what you do that will be valuable to other people in this season that you can do online. I saw a young lady um, who I loved the video that she did, and someone was in the comments and they said, oh, I need you to do this for me. And they said, okay, when all of this is over, um, we can connect and in my mind. I was like no y'all do y'all can do that now Y'all can do that virtually you can set professionally set that up. You can collect payments. You can offer them that Right now. I want you guys to get innovative One of the things that I've decided to do my prep my brand challenge. We're on like day four. It's a five-day challenge I'm doing a second round you know one of the challenge members has gotten such great results. Um, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to do another five-day session of the Prep My Brand Challenge. Um, it's just time to move. It's time to pivot. If you are uncertain about, like, for the, maybe you have a side hustle or something that's been on your mind, or maybe you had a brick and mortar business that is closed down now and you knew, you need new innovation. You need to be able to implement. Over this time, you need to be able to create content to share, to be able to build up momentum and attraction from people who would find value. I invite you into that opportunity. It's, um, it's a no brainer. It's $97. It's five complete days. You get five emails from me, five video trainings, and then I coach with you live every single day for five days. Every single day for five days. Um, helping you to prep your brand. Maybe it's something that you have now. I share with you guys that I gave a member um, a strategy and in 30 minutes she had doubled her money back and gotten five more people who wanted that particular service, right? And that was something that we implemented from her brick and mortar business that had to close down, she didn't touch a client to do that. Now that thing is something that she's going to be able to do this entire time that, you know, the brick and mortar business is closed. She also has for she's um, began, she's got a logo for it. All of this has happened in two days. We're only on, uh, yesterday was day three. We'll do day four today. Some of you need really missing like someone to say okay this is this go do this meet me back here some of you need accountability to get that thing done in this season you can go to bit.ly slash my prep one if you know it's time to pivot in this season it is time to pivot it is time to pivot in this season i love to support you in that process um, i've decided to do a second round we actually end uh tomorrow and the next round will start on Thursday for five days. Pivot. P-I-V-O-T. You're going to need to pray, prep, and plan. Innovate and implement. Have something viable that is also valuable that you can work on that will produce profit for you in this season. Be willing to say, 
I did this forever and I did it like this, but in this season, I'm going to have to pivot and do it differently. Because if you get stuck in what it was that you used to do in that season, it doesn't mean you won't do that again, right, when this is over. But for now, there's another leg of um, creativity and possibility that's available for me. And I want to help you activate that inside the Prep My Brand Challenge. Remember, you have to be open-minded and optimistic in this season. And then for T, you got to trust, be truthful, be tenacious, um, be ready for transformation, and then be mindful of your take on today. I hope it blesses you guys. Whenever you're getting in a space where you feel like pa I'm panicking, I want you to think about this broadcast and say, no, I'm pivoting. No, I'm pivoting. And I want you to remember some of the words I gave you. Now, listen, guys, this is all strategy for you. Because whenever we are not thinking in a space of abundance, our mind will start about scarcity and lack and what if. And I've given you all some words and some actual things that you can do whenever those words start coming up. You say, nope, I got to trust. Nope, I got to be honest with myself. This is what I did or I didn't do. And this is how I'm going to do it differently. And this is my time. And then if you say, oh God, but what if in 30 days, remind yourself, say, okay, you know what? I need to be implementing. I need to be implementing. I need to be innovative. So I gave you words and concepts that you can use whenever your mind, because our brain is naturally wired to protect us from danger. And so of course, during this time, meaning that many of the situations feel like danger, but we have to police our thoughts, retrain our brain, and take control, right, during this season. And you got to replace it with different words. You got to say, okay, you know what? I need to be praying, prepping, and planning. I need to be innovative in this season. What has God given me? Now, I'm not saying go and try to create five different that will really just be a leg from what you're already doing. It won't even be like um, this a completely new thing it just may, may be a new way it just may be a new way and i'd love to support you in that join us inside the five day prep my brand challenge bit.ly slash my prep one i've made it um a no-brainer it's only 97 dollars for five days um of impact strategies um, i also share some money tips that will help you tremendously during this time. Things that I did uh, to not only sustain in 2008 recession, but actually to thrive. We made more sales in that year than we had um, the years prior. I hired more people. I mean, I was just thinking about those things during this time and it's because I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind and I decided how my end was going to be. And I knew that I was going to align with how I wanted my end to be and not how, you know, panic was making me feel it was going to be. I, you know, I took the power that God get, gives us to get wealth and I implemented. I stay in alignment in, in my faith. And when you're in full alignment, it's your words, your actions and um, your thoughts. They're all in alignment. So stay in alignment, guys. Remember in this season, don't panic. Pivot. That's my take on today. I'm Tammy Wilson Cherry, transformational growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women, service based business owners just like you, helping you brand, build, and profit in your business, but not just your business, in your life.